Hello everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and this video serves as an update to my best fully upgraded car series where I take all vehicles in GTA 5 around a circuit to find the best to use for racing. So this video is going to be slightly different to what we normally do because there's going to be a lot of information thrown at you in a short space of time. So try to watch all the way to the end and keep uh, keep focused on what is a relatively short video. But the thing that we need to talk about first of all is the change to the RE7B. So I put out a video earlier today that talked about the fact that the RE7B had been patched which was widely expected because it uh, had a bug that made the top speed a lot higher than what it should have been but that didn't just affect its top speed that also affected its time around a lap as well as you can see from this clip before the bikers DOC it was the quickest vehicle in the entire game with a 57.7 second lap after the bikers DOC it is almost four seconds per lap slower now that lap time of 101.6 that it gets now is actually still would make it the quickest supercar in the game but only by a few tenths of a second over the X80, the T20, the Osiris, those kind of vehicles that used to be at the top, which actually means that the supercars class is back to being properly balanced between about 10 or 12 different cars. Now, it remains to be seen what the Tyrus and the ETR1 do because the, the fix that was added to the RE7B does affect those vehicles as well. And I will be making a video in this week explaining exactly what they've done, why it happened and, and everything. So keep an eye out for that. But at the minute, all you really need to know is that the RE7B is much slower and it's certainly not on the pace that it used to be, although it is still at the very, very top end of the supercars class regardless of that. But yeah, like I said, more information to come. So next we need to talk about the best motorcycle in the entire game, which is the brand new Hakuchu Drag. With a 57.590 second lap time, this would actually have been quicker than what the RE7B had before the patch anyway. So this is the quickest land vehicle in the entire game and would have been regardless. This is the quickest lap that we've ever seen around this track. It's a good two and a half seconds quicker than what we saw from the previous best motorbikes in the game. That was the Barty and the Akuma. They used to be the quickest ever since the game came out, but now we finally got something that can beat them. And this is actually the only motorbike in the game that it's quicker to lean forward with it than it is to wheelie. So every single motorbike in the game, it's quicker to uh, pull the stick back and get the front wheel up off the ground. And even vehicles where the front wheel doesn't come up that high off the ground, it's still quicker to wheelie with them. That isn't the case for the Hakuchu Drag. It is quicker to lean forward with it, which you'll see in a clip in a second because I am going to be showing the top speed as well. So very unique in that respect. And it's probably a better thing uh, in, in terms of motorbike racing in general that that's the case. But ultimately, the, the Hakuchu Drag is the quickest vehicle around a regular circuit now uh, with an with a absolutely crazy 57.5 second lap time. So as you can see in the clips that are about to show, the... The, the, the drag is quicker when you lean forward it's five miles per hour quicker at its top speed leaning forward compared to wheeling that is completely different to every other motorbike in the game in that respect it's not the quickest motorbike in terms of top speed that is still the regular Hakuchu with a 131.5 but it, it's still very very quick and it's certainly up there in terms of top speed but ultimately it is the quickest around a track and uh, yeah it's certainly worth its price tag I guess so the reason that I haven't covered any other motorbikes in this video is because none of them are as quick as the Hakuchu Drag. You know, you know the quickest motorbike now and it's that. And basically I'm at a very stressful point in my life, I guess, at the, at the moment. And I'm, I, I want to try and simplify things a bit more than what I've been doing because I don't want to make three or four different update videos for all of these new bikes because there was quite a lot of content, obviously and it gets even more confusing to what it already is. I want to try and get to the brand new class specific videos as quickly as possible. And the first of those is going to be the motorbikes video. So class specific videos will be coming shortly and we're going to cover the motorbikes first. That will include all of the vehicles that we haven't seen and all of the vehicles that we haven't tested yet. And then we'll do the supercars with the correct lap times from the new supercars as well after the patch. Like I said, there will be videos this week explaining more about that. And I also want to focus this week on videos that explain more about the bikers DOC, cover what we've seen in, the, in this DOC and the update because we have had quite a lot of changes and it is a little bit difficult to keep up and I think going and testing vehicles that aren't necessarily going to be all that quick in one single class is just going to take away from that so lots more testing to come lots more videos to come feel free to subscribe for all of it obviously 
But yeah, that's where we're at right now. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the support. As always, leave all your comments and likes and all that kind of good stuff down below. And I'll see you next time.